Hi, welcome to part three of our whole hog rotisserie. Uh, finished burning out the barrel, and as you can see, I have the trailer welded to the frame now, or the frame of the trailer welded to the rotisserie. Uh, putting one inch strip on the edges uh, to reinforce and help seal in the heat. Here we are, cut out uh, enough strap to line the inside. Uh, put strap on the outside edge to help seal it when it closes. And we have our three hinges back here. Let's see how it closes up now. Seems to close nicely. The middle of the barrel is a little pushed in from burning it out. So I'm going to run over to the neighbor's house with the porter power and push in or push the barrel out on the bottom. There's the old man. Put a couple of handles on it uh, made out of leftover wrought iron from building the deck or the, the railing onto the steps to the deck. Built a door here. Um, just to, to peek at the hog to see how it's doing so that everyone doesn't have to lift the lid uh, to take a look. Gotten a little farther with the project. Uh, realized that the handle on this side was going to interfere with the rotisserie. So I cut it off. I'll have to grind the stubs off and move it up a little bit. But uh, as you can see, I built brackets and put some block and pillow one inch bearings with the one inch bar stock and it rotates nicely got brackets at both ends took a little piece of tube put it on the lid here and on the bottom not a super tight fit but it'll help